What's going on everybody? This is Kevin from Daily Mobile and in my hand I have the Samsung Galaxy S4. Considered by most to be the flagship device of Android devices on the market today. Uh, I have not had this device long enough to do a full review on it, but I can do a quick first impressions for you. And what is the first impression when you pick up this device? It is just uh, how light and thin this device is. If I turn this thing to the side, you can see that this is a really thin device. It is 7.9 millimeters thick, weighs 130 grams, and it's got a 5-inch Super AMOLED display coming in at 441 ppi. I put this live wallpaper on here with the water just to see if you can perhaps glimpse of how crisp this display is. It's pretty impressive. And just how thin this device is and how little bezel it has. Uh, put it next to a Nokia Lumia 920. These two devices are just about the same size. And I know the 920 is a bigger device for its size. But this is a 4.5 inch display while the Samsung has a 5 inch display. And just the fact that Samsung could fit that 5 inch display in about the same area uh, is impressive and shows you just how small the bezel is on the SG4. This has a 13 megapixel camera on the back, which I'm doing some testing on now. Hopefully we'll have a review on the camera itself. Some of the software improvements here is one that I like a lot is the notification panel. As you can see, the notification panel has just about everything you can possibly need on it in one quick gesture. This stops you from digging into a bunch of settings menus. And if you want to make it even quicker for what you use, you can actually customize what shows up in the notification panel immediately. So that is a marked improvement from the uh, previous Galaxy device. There's also stuff like uh, AirView and Smart Scroll and Smart Stay that I can't get into on this review. Hopefully we'll dig into it on the full review. Uh, the one thing I really did like here is the camera. What I really like about the camera is just how easily and quickly Samsung can let you get through your modes and your settings. This they borrowed from the Galaxy camera, and it's really nice, really easy, really quick. And what I really like about it is if you're flipping through modes and you want to just get back to automatic mode, which most people shoot in, you just come up here and there's a button for that. So that's a pretty nice little trick that Samsung put in. Another nice trick uh, that unfortunately I couldn't use because I have the wrong brand TV apparently is the remote for your TV. But like I said, I have the wrong brand, so I could not use that. In fact, the only thing that let me wanting for more so far is the keyboard of all things. Now this is a personal preference, but you see how low this keyboard is on here? Um, I always feel like I'm going to drop the device, being that it's a bigger device, when you put your hands on it uh, to type like this, it just doesn't feel, it just feels like it's going to flop off the back because the keyboard's so low and the device is so tall. It is a personal preference to show you what I mean. Um, see how my finger is unnaturally under it like that, just kind of hold it. If I let my finger go, it doesn't topple, but it's not spectacular. Um, if you've had a Samsung device in the past, you will be used to this. Let me show you by way of comparison. Uh, let's bring this up real quick. By way of comparison here. As you can see, the keyboards are just about the same size. So that wasn't the difference. It wasn't the smallness of the keyboard or the thinness of the device like I thought it was when I first opened it up. It's the placement of it. Um, if you notice here, when I'm typing on the 920, this finger is doing just about nothing, and my device is well balanced. Again, that is a personal thing. 
And if you are used to a Samsung device, that would be no issue for you and probably about 90% of the people out there. If you guys have any questions or you have anything you want me to test specifically, please leave it in the notes and I will try to get to it for your full review. Thanks for watching.